Welcome to the series where I test out the OSR's wiki money making guides. I started this series almost a year ago and since then we've tried out multiple methods even if they're a little silly such as picking bananas or even flax. If you enjoy these types of videos then feel free to check out the playlist that I've made for them and feel free to leave a suggestion down in the comments for a method that you'd like to see tested. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for today's moneymaker, as you've already seen from reading the title, we will be stringing you longbows. Now for this moneymaker, you don't need to be wearing anything at all. All you need is some you longbows you and some bowstrings. As you can see, we already have them in the bank. I have 3000 of each. I don't think I'll need more for this one hour, but if I do, I can always go back to the grand exchange and buy some more. Now the setup is very simple. All we're going to do is withdraw 14 at a time. You can use the quantity option here and select X once you've already set 14 as your number and then just left click each item to pull out 14 of each. And then from here, all we do is click on the U longbow and then click on the bowstring and then hit string all. And that is pretty much it. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So besides the fletching requirement of level 70, all you'll need for this moneymaker is a stack of coins. The wiki recommends a million plus to do this for an hour, but honestly you can do it with less, especially if you do this moneymaker at the grand exchange. Simply sell off the bows that you've made and buy more supplies with the money that you'll make. I chose to do this moneymaker in a more scenic spot. This is the Myths Guild. And I probably won't ever do a moneymaker here again. That is, of course, if I remember that. Um, whenever I was recording this, I noticed that the recording was coming through really laggy. And I think it's because of the spot that I was in. For whatever reason, whenever I would zoom out of my character, the lag would stop in the recording window. And then whenever I would zoom back in, like it is right now, it would be really laggy on the preview window. But the final recording seemed to come out okay so I don't think it's an issue but uh yeah just in case uh, I probably won't be doing any bank standing money makers here again but anyways back to the money maker I've already explained the method it's very simple and this is why this is one of my favorite type of money makers especially for afk stuff um it's very low intensity uh you don't really have to focus too much and you make good money and good xp this was actually the method that I used back whenever I was training my fletching uh, I think this was my second 99 on the account, so back then I didn't have a lot of money for darts. Uh, now, it, darts is definitely the way to go. And people go from level 1 to 99 in just a matter of a few hours. Very expensive, but you do save a lot of time doing it. But yeah, back then when I didn't have a lot of money, uh, all I did was string longbows all the way to 99. I did use, I did magics, and uh, yeah, made quite a bit of money and got some nice XP while I was doing it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last stringing video that I did. I think it was probably over two years ago, but I, I gotta say, I do really appreciate the fact that this particular bank standing moneymaker actually has an animation towards it. You actually bring out the bow and attach a string to it, which is pretty nice. And while thinking about that, I thought of some other random stuff, as I usually do whenever I'm making these types of videos. And, uh, I was thinking of how cool it would have been to actually make the twisted bow yourself, you know, like actually go and hunt for pieces rather than just get it as one drop from Chambers of Zarek, you know. I feel like actually obtaining these difficult materials and making the bow yourself would have been a little more rewarding, but what do I know? I, I have like one Chambers completion. <laughs> But maybe for a future reward, that'll be how they approach it, you know, obtaining different materials and crafting the item yourself, which is what they do for some of the items. Uh, I know like from Hydra, you can get like a bunch of pieces to make like the brimstone ring and of course to make the lance. So yeah, pretty neat. And speaking of raids, I know in a previous video, we were talking about the new uh, tombs raid and Everyone seemed to like it, it was very accessible for a lot of people, but they've made some updates since then that have seemed to upset, I'd say the majority of players, uh, even the ones who were, you know, high level. Uh, I think they like reduced some of the supplies you get in there, which didn't go over so well. And I think uh, as of a couple days ago, they actually introduced some more changes to the invocation system and people seem to be pretty negative about it. but. Uh, I can't really say too much about it because I still haven't attempted it. I Yeah, I, I haven't had the time to go and try out raids for myself, so um, not really sure how it's going. Uh, but 
But yeah, it doesn't seem good. But who knows, maybe it's just a very vocal minority. Maybe it's just a few people on Reddit. I'm curious though to hear from you guys. Uh, did they completely mess up the rate for you? Or are people just exaggerating a little bit? Let me know down in the comments below and also let me know if you've gotten any nice drops from the raid. Uh, like I said, me personally, I still haven't done the raid so I haven't made money from drops, but I did do a bit of flipping before the release of raids and a little bit after and I did make some nice money that way at least. But with that being said, that is the end of this one hour of stringing you longbows. Let's go ahead and see how much money we made from all of these longbows that we strung. So after one hour of stringing these U longbows, we have 2,366 of them, and they are valued at 1.2 mil. So let's go over to the GE, sell them off, and see what the total profit is like. So luckily, the actively traded price is higher than the market price, so we'll go ahead and just throw them in there for 533, and if they sell for more, then that's great. But like I say with all of my videos, if you are trying to maximize your profits, Feel free to raise this a little bit, maybe even up to 538. So as you can see, they sold off instantly. So you can definitely put them in there for a little bit higher to make some more money. So as for the total profit of this video, if we subtract the cost of supplies, which was the bowstrings and the unstrung U longbows, that was 901,446 GP. Subtract that from the money we made, which was 1,259,195 GP. That gives us a grand total profit of 357,749 GP on the hour. Now, once again, uh, the wiki was pretty accurate in terms of how many we can make. We did get just below that at 2,366. It did say you can make 2,400, but to be fair, there were a few moments where we were slacking quite a bit. So you can definitely hit that 2,400 uh, bows per hour mark. It's not that hard. And uh, yeah, pretty good moneymaker, great XP. We got, it says 177.5 thousand fletching XP. So not only is it AFK, good XP, but it's also decent money. I just wanna say thanks for checking out the video and thank you to all of my channel members with a special thanks to ACR Beans. Once again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.